lsfund.org. Yes, I did. You don't tell me I, I... I didn't expect you to talk for so long. <laughs> I told you, you want to have coffee? I expect you, you, an an expect you to walk past me. <laughs> Dave, we've never met before. And by the way, if I did that to you, I'd be arrested. I don't mind you doing it to me, but I just saw a guy arrested just down the street for doing that and tasered by your man. Not quite, but it was close. He was just turning the officer around. No, I don't care. I just want an equal, an equal treatment, you know, for the people and the police. I think it's all about context. It's all about context. Context is important. I'll give you that. Is it open? No, it's not open it's just yet. Okay. Here we go. Psycho, man. I got your, your your battery card. Oh yeah. Now I guess the officer down there just stopped the lady from coming in. He let me in because I had already been up here for something. This really isn't the ideal place to do an interview. I was kind of just drawn up here to see what. I've not been this high. I've not been to the city council before. Let's see what the entrance looks like. So what this is? What's this going on downstairs? I see there's an officer at the front door, and it looks like he stopped the lady from coming in. What's going on with that? I have no idea. I have. I'm up here, Dave. I don't know what's going on outside. Yeah, you haven't ordered your men to stop people from coming in, have you? I have not. And I should just say, I got oh, the... Oh, we can't go in because it's not public, right? Right, now. right. I just got the impression he stopped her. I'm not actually positive that's what he did. Well, there was a conversation yeah. on the stairs here a second ago. And he said, uh, something about, you know, when the chief goes in or something like that. I was, I was talking to Dave. He wasn't here. Was thrown in there. Deep conversation all day over here. Flattery will only get you so far, chief. You don't remember the person <laughs> you were talking to at the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're just setting up the logistics of. You guys aren't you guys are stopping people for, from coming in, are you? From yes, coming sir. into this area? Yes. Sir. Okay. Well, I guess I appreciate being let in, but. Janice will be up here. Is she up here yet? I don't know. I don't think so. There's yeah. only counselors in there right now. Did she try the? She'll be, he'll, she'll be over, Kevin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Janice will be over. Okay. Um, could, could I ask what the rationale is for not letting people into the stairwell area? I've been told not to. It's that simple for me. You've been asked not to let them into the stairwell? Let's, yeah, let's, should I, could I ask you ask you? I think what's happening, I can offer some clarity. Though. Okay, all right. And I'm not, a, I'm not the fire department, but the last meeting, uh, the, the, the council understood the need for public testimony, but it far exceeded the fire code. And so people are not to be queued in the hallways. Okay. And once they hit capacity inside, people, they're going to stop people from coming in for fire code, and, which is posted on the wall. Oh. So people will not be able is to. Is somebody planning on counting the number yes. of people to come in? Yes. And where is that count going to be? Probably right here. Right here. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, it, seems like so police, no. it seems like the police. No. It seems like the police presence is quite a bit more at this meeting than the last meeting. From looking at, from looking at the videos, I could be wrong. Well, I was here. But, and. Uh, Sergeant Pearl was here at the last meeting. Uh, you, were here. The, you were in plain clothes. I was. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was. I was. I was on vacation and I came back from vacation for the meeting. Right. So uh, I wasn't in a position to change. Well, Chief, yeah. I, I appreciate you engaging with me for so long and answering so many I'll questions. I'll answer any questions. <laughs> so, it's, you know, I ran out of them. <laughs> so, as long it as works I, better than the hand over the long, camera. As long as I understand them, I'll, I'll answer them. Okay. All right. See you out there. Take care, Dave. I think Channel Nine is here. And you should go interview her. That would be fun. Channel Nine? Yeah. It'll happen sooner or later. 
They have to do something. They have to do something questionable first. <laughs> Here's the view from the Forbidden Zone. I guess what they say a, a reporter's job or a, a photographer's job is to show the people what they missed, even though they were there. Maybe I'm doing some of that. Why is it that students have to be forbidden from recording in the buildings? Why does everyone have no comment on this? Are you as unhappy as I am about public schools and their treatment of students? Heck, some of them don't even want to talk about students' rights. The school district bans students from, from running video cameras, doesn't it? I'm not going to discuss this with you right now. But dozens of kids in the free state have escaped jail school because of the Liberty Scholarship Fund. LSFund.org. They're getting an education that looks more like this. But their liberation efforts will only continue with your involvement. Help LSFund.org. Strike the root of tyranny in the state where it really counts. Donate today.